There's two cars out. The rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we will do. meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life with a bunch of metal wimbos. <sighs> Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Careful the way he's saturated with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys to me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her, fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. Stupid bet that I could turn up at this party in Maserati. That was rash. What was the bet for? A grand. A grand? A hundred of it is yours if you let me have those keys. Two hundred. Okay. In cash tonight. I'm good for it. Fast cars tonight, all right? Get over it. 
You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're going to do. To a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place, kidnapping the first innocent bystander. I got the car, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ. And who the hell's gonna drive? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and anyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr. Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice ball? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. We need to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes. Call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that you know, Irish Pete. <sighs> what about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. Look, I, I don't know who you guys are or what you're up to, OK? I'm not going to say anything to anyone. Well, it's not going to take you long to figure it out, is it? Well, no, not if you keep talking in front of me, it won't. It'll be on the news, smart ass. Let me... I'm not a murderer. I don't intend to start now. <sighs> Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. Diffinoxin? What the fuck is that? You guys would have had a headaches like you. Hold still. Make things worse. <laughs> Your headache's gonna start the moment you knock me out. And why is that? Because your mate on the couch there, he may have brought you the BMW, but he's brought it here with a valet key. A valet key, what the fuck is that? It's a parking key. It means you can't drive faster than 35 miles an hour. Not great for a getaway car, is it? And why do you think it's a getaway car? Your face? Is this fucking right about the key? It puts a block on the electrics. We can sort it. No, you can't. You can't do it without triggering the immobilizer. But I can. But you can. No, certainly can. Looks like I just bought yourself a ticket and bought this operation. Are you serious? Are you gonna go 
to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, I'm not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr. Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. You better not fuck this up. Okay, let's get set. Just because you've invited me to join you doesn't mean I'm up for it. You don't have a choice, mate. It's like I don't. This is what's gonna happen. I'll double up on Lee's position. And this guy, what's your name? Matt. Matt, sticks with Mei Ling. You take up the slack. Super. Okay, we need to get moving. We need to be auction house before nine. This one. You're joking. Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So, we're here to help them get it back? We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume we're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing it. Time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying never get is an employment. Failed education is still an excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when they're far more worthy causes in the world. What on your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could see it that way. You know, maybe you got a point about relieving some of these people of a sliver of their money. Welcome to Hainsworth. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. 9.20, thank you. I see you. 9.30, again to my left. 9.40, do I hear 9.40? 9.40, thank you, sir. Looking for 9.50. 9.50 to my left. Do I hear 9.60? Fair warning. I'm selling. 9.50 once, 9.50 twice. So, for 950,000 pounds, this marvelous 12th century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is just try to keep Very your powder nice dry. Oh, I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? So we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Trent. Katie. <laughs> What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Is the ball there? One of only three beautiful pieces remaining here. examples okay, great. of a red phoenix pattern Simon. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece. The sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Shit, yeah, he can't afford it. 
Oh, did we say about that? Okay. And so, we should begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five I'm looking for. Get 20% on the sale price, don't we? Well, five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Thank you. Stop bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir. It's your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? Lots of them. Nine I'm looking for. Price increases on a logarithmic. All around the room. Zero. Nine million to you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, the chance is getting away with another nine million. Million. Do I hear nine five? Fair warning. I'm selling. Nine million once. Nine million twice. 